Out of four, we did the Prince and Ponsan. They don't even say from a grassroots captain. I was saying, I saw YouTube channel, and I saw message was saying, grassroots TV, oh, Kai, not subscribe, share, not comment, and out of four, me that was it. So I saw YouTube channel, and I saw people follow grassroots TV, me that was it. For a few minutes, I think we can give chance to the fans to move on. Um, thank you for coming. Thank you for such a wonderful time. I appreciate the presence and the leadership of MPP. Please, this is a chest service song. Can we give honor to whom honor is due? Our mighty God is in our midst. You are living today by His grace, and it's by His power that you are living. If you are a living being today, you need to know that he gave you strength and ability to be here. My assignment is simple, just to give a short message. They gave me a time and I, I, I will say that. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this hour. We thank you for your grace and your mercy. We thank you for your love and your concern. We thank you for your power at such a time like this. Lord, have mercy on us. Speak to us today in a different dimension. Give us understanding of your word, intuition of your word. Give us insight of your word and enable us to celebrate this anniversary with joy and peace as we have started already. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. His Excellency, um, our dear President, Nana Adudankwa Akufu Adu, the President of the Republic of Canada, and um, Mrs. Vice President, and Chief of Staff, and the Chairman of the MPP. We appreciate, and I uh, appreciate your invitation for me to share with you a short message. The theme is that it will cover a period. But my duty is to speak on unity for national development. Unity for national development. I'm picking from what the vice president gave the first Bible reading, the first Bible re the third Bible reading. That is First Corinthians chapter one, verse ten. First Corinthians chapter one, verse ten. This is a church service. If you have your phone, you can flip it so that you can get the dreams of it. But listen to me. Now I plead. Some version says, I appeal with you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same language, and that there be no division among you, but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Paul was a scholar. Paul was a very articulate in the things of God. He established the church in Corinth. He was a powerful man of God. But at a period, it came to mind that there was contention, conflict, and all kinds of things, grumbling and murmuring in the church. Therefore, Paul decided to write to them, causing them to understand where they are. The key word of just three verses that the vice president read, the key word is that. That, that, what is a key word? A key word is a word that repeats itself 
in a passage. When you leave it out, it makes the passage devoid in meaning. There are key words in our life, in our institution, in our party. What is the key word? If we don't know, we will run and run the whole thing. But Paul said, I plead is a different word in Greek. Parakos or parakalos, which is, I want to come beside you. I'm not just begging, I'm coming beside you, talking to you as a brother, talking to you as your minister. Paul was speaking for the peace of the land of Corinth so that the church will be strong. So he was not saying, I'm begging you, I'm besides you, talking to you, my people. <laughs> Very strong theologian Paul. And he came to the point and said, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, he was not talking by his name, he was talking about the name that is above all other names. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That, the first that, that should all speak the same thing. If there's no unity in the party, Ghana can never be united. Unity starts from the home. The family, when the family is not united, the community will never be united. When the community is not united, the nation will never be united. And chaos will be the name of that song. So Paul said, speak the same language. What language do you have? Is it, is it a selfish language or language that will develop the nation Ghana? If our focus is for ourselves, only I, me, myself, at the end of the day, we will fail and the nation will fail. Selfish interest is too high. Listen, 
the big way for division is not party, is not groupings, is the Greek word is to tear apart. Paul was talking about tearing apart. Why is it that the, the party which is in power is not united? If the party in power is not united, the country will suffer. Unity for national development. I said what? Unity for national development. A couple more. A team for swan. Ever. Let me rush through. He was using the word henosis. Henosis. Unity. Henosis. We have about 10 Greek words, but I'm using the word henosis. Henosis is not uniformity. You can wear MPP cloth. You can put on all kinds of MPP hats. If you are not united, if there is no henosis, it's uniformity. I asked a for I told you, never moon on top of I don't know. I my Two We have one Ghana. We have one Ghana. We have one Ghana. By the grace of God, I've traveled from East. I study in the East. I study in the West. I know what they are doing. I went to the Singapore when democracy was starting in the country that they came there. I was in the meeting as a student. There was just a small development. But what happened? Listen to me. We as a group, as a party, MPP, please. We need to understand anyone who will run and get their first, you should take the price. Not knowing that the Ubuntu principle, they hold their hands and they run together. And when they win there, they do the price and they share upon them. Concept of Ubuntu is a powerful concept. He said, I am because we are. Shout, I am because we are. Shout, I am because we are. Individualism is not part of Ubuntu. Individualism is not part of Ubuntu. The same principle is what Archbishop Desmond Tutu used to address the apartheid, the apartheid of South Africa. If there is any apartheid in the system, use Ubuntu and, and, and change the apartheid for it to be a good one. Shout hallelujah, somebody. Just remain in mind of uh, just a few minutes. Unity promotes peace and love in the nation. Not only that, where people are united, they can put effort to remove corruption. Or reduce corruption. Unity gives power signs of security. When the new, new, new elected executive will be united, there will be a security for the party and for the nation. Unity promotes cooperation and opens opportunity. When there is unity, you watch, 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 watch. watch. 
I'm coming where? Ah. Ah. Just watch. I'm going where? Ah. The new executive. The way you saw yourself coming up. In future, you go down. So the way you that you will handle those who are there will be a seed and a seed and a plant and a seed and a fruit for you in future. Handle them well. It's only this country, it's only Africa that I've seen that we don't respect. Some of us do not respect our leadership and our elders. What an insult in the land. What an insult in the environment. And it started from the home. Unity provides an equal opportunity for all citizens. Let me give you five people that you will meet. Those in, in charge today, five. One, not that five people should, you should handle very well. First one is called VRP. Unity. They are very important. And such a way they are But, the party and they are one more month to your pain for it. We are dying what we are paying for. You have to have a good hand. You see, I am one of the young and 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 I am one of the If you come to the knowledge of that, you will prepare yourself that wherever you are, you will brighten the corner where you are. Watch out the third person. VTP. Very teachable people. There are some people who are cool. You are saying, they are cool. When they, they can cool, but they are dangerous. They catch your passion. They will what? Catch your passion and sit down cool. The medical students feel a harsh when we were in school. I was in medical side. And when did they come to class with cool? I tell you, they are too powerful. Powerful. JFK, powerful. Person, how did that person work? You will catch your vision because he's teachable and run with it. Number four, VNP. Very nice people. They come huh? They are very nice. And sometimes they are sick of us. You have to be a Yakura before us. And Yakura, who can meet now? Who is a Kasa? I'm scared. That person, what that person? And let that person motivate you. Somewhere you are here, that you are coming down. My name is The last one is VDP. Very training people. They will train you. You are going be an anonymous guy. Now, listen to me. They will train you. Hold up. In this 30th anniversary, measure up. You hold up those people with wisdom. Thank you for any of your own medicine idea. What we are here, hey, organize it. Nana B. I talk to Chase and Sushi. I'm going to have to find this because when you know that, what's the CH that I don't have a problem? Let me end with this. We need to know that Shunniti is powerful. In Genesis chapter 11, they said, We will build a tower. And the weapon, it 
took God to change their mind. Hey, to God. Let me tell you, friends, if there is no emotional intelligent scholar among us, let's go and seek for emotional intelligent scholar. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Emotional intelligence is one area of leadership that some of us have studied to the highest. Emotional intelligence is ability to manage both your own emotions and understand the emotions of people around you. Emotional intelligence. Take one, one lesson throughout. I'm giving you three takeaways. God loves unity and hates division. Number two, Satan understands the power of unity and is always working to bring division. Note it, he's always there. Take home. Number three, and there's a, a unity never occurs by accident, it is the result of hard work and dedication. Friends, I said to you now, you gave me 30 minutes. I've covered 27. I'll give you three for you to tell. If you rely on God, you rely on God, you will make it. If you fail God, you will not make it. I trust in God. Putting things together, putting brains together, I believe your life will never be the same. Yeah. A good surgeon, bone surgeon, is the one who can assemble all the bones on the table before he touches the patient and put the bones together and bring the patient's bone back. Therefore, please, let's join hands. Let's work together. Not for anything, but for the development of the nation. My goal is one for the nation. And if you will do it, God will bless you. God will bless you. Shall we pray? Please, can we stand on our feet and pray? Listen. Listen to me. I want one of the singers to take us. Have three minutes. I want us to. Because we said we are unwrinkled. Man, God bless you. It has taken a long time meeting you. So you went away, sir. In a small way. Listen. As a minister of God, I will entreat all the youth. One thing that transformed my life is knowing God and accepting Him. At the age of 30, till today, I've seen a change. If you don't know Jesus, I present him to you. He is the transformer and the changer of life. He will change your life and make it good. I want us to just close our eyes and meditate on what we, 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 less than a show. Think about it. On to Jesus. They don't even say from a grassroots captain. I was saying, I saw called YouTube channel as well. Message was said, Grassroots TV, oh, Kai, not subscribe, share, not comment. Or the format that was said, so called YouTube channel as well. I'm going to follow Grassroots TV. Meta was said.